Soon, there will be a new park in Tulsa, thanks to the Kaiser Foundation, the Gathering Place. Access for all citizens should be the very best and safest route. To help visualize accesses, let us first take a moment and look at an aerial map. As the map illustrates, in green, the existing river trail and Midland Valley Trail pedestrian pathways that link Veterans Park to the future gathering place. Also included in red is the proposed sidewalk on the east side of Riverside Drive. As illustrated on the map, the distance from Veterans Park to the gathering place is not substantially different, regardless of the path taken. But there is a difference concerning which paths are the safest. Our concern for the proposed new path is that the new sidewalk will be unsafe because it crosses five neighborhood intersections and it will be within 10 feet of Riverside Drive northbound lanes. The following video illustrates what that would be like. Well, I'm Barbara Cox. I live in Tulsa and I've been here for 30 years and I I've always liked it and I like this area, but now I'm a little worried about how it's going to be because walking up and down here where the sidewalk is going to be is a really scary uh, situation. Uh, the cars whizzes by, you can't, and if you're walking with somebody and you're walking north, you can't see what's behind you, and if you're talking to a friend, you can't hear what they say, and the cars just keep coming, whizzing by. I didn't feel safe. Uh, you could feel the wind of the cars hitting up against you. Um, I personally don't ever walk that close to Riverside and I don't ever want to again. My name's Ann Pilkington and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Can't imagine having kids or animals with me. It's just very close and you know, if someone is texting or talking on the phone and you know, looks away, it's real quick to come up over that curb and hit someone. And I just don't think it's a very safe uh, idea. I personally don't think there's anything that can be done to make it safe. I prefer to use a trail that's up in the back um, of the neighborhood, further up, uh, that's much safer. There's no cars, it's lit. Uh, they've done a really good job of redoing it, so I'd just prefer to use that trail than coming this close to Riverside. We're Bob and Jody Peelsicker. We live in Maple Ridge. Uh, the Midland Valley Trail is not far from my house, and uh, we've uh, Used this trail quite a bit in the past, and it's such a beautiful place and a wonderful way to, to get north and south if you're in this neighborhood. This is a good area to be accessed by people that aren't just living in Maple Ridge, and it's it's nature close by, squirrels and and uh, quiet and and the new lighting along here. It's all been repaved, and we're real happy with the progress of of uh, what they put in here. I am a person who walks a lot and has always done it while we've lived in the neighborhood. And that, that's why we live down here is because I want to be by the areas where I can walk. Living in the neighborhood and trying to get out onto the street is difficult, especially at the high traffic times in the morning and the evening. If you have pedestrians trying to cross the street, you have another situation where you're worried about, are they going to cross in front of me? Are they going to try to go behind me? If I start to pull out, are they thinking that they can go also at the same time because it's clear? It would be a very hard situation to maneuver around cars and pedestrians. We currently have very few cars parked. Uh, in our neighborhood and we are able to uh, access our neighbors and walk through the neighborhood by using the curb. Um, I think uh, the film will show that uh, there's um, no way to walk down the street with cars parked on both sides and uh, people have to walk in the middle of the street and I just think that that's a, a real safety issue for the people that, that live in the neighborhood. Um, the park is going to be built and uh, we're trying to embrace it the best we can. Uh, we're not against uh, the issue of the, the park in this situation. We're just uh, hoping that things will be uh, safe in our neighborhood uh, where we live along with uh, safe for people to get down to the park. 